Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports for a Springbok squad update. Rusty Rasmus announcing his squad on a very late on Saturday night. His squad for uh, the first game of the season against Wales, um, which included players from Japan, the Lions, Stormers and the Sharks, but not players from either both in the UK and um, Ireland or um, France, as well as players currently playing for the Bulls. And it was a... Uh, it was a 34 35 man group that was announced. Um, and however, there has been an update on that official group. So go check out the channel. We have done a video on the actual that, that squad. We've gone through it and uh, looked at all the various different players. We've also done a prediction on what the Wales team could look like, or the team to play against Wales uh, could look like uh, in the, uh, the, the coming weeks. However, uh, there's been a very interesting update, and that is that a Bulls player has been added to the squad in the form of uh, Sinan Pilo Gamedi. Um, who has received a Springbok call-up and immediately uh, joined the squad in Pretoria um, following the release of a double World Rugby World Cup winner during Ches and Colby, who will undergo a medical examination for a knee niggle. So, Gamedi in, Colby out. Uh, let's get stuck into it. Before we do, please do smash the like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Um, in terms of what we what is the training squad uh, update is, is that uh, Ches and Colby had joined his teammates uh, on Sunday, but was released on Monday to examine the extent of a niggle which he picked up during his regular Japanese club season. Um, so it looks like he will have to get uh, a medical examination based on that and potentially is out of the, the Wales game. Uh, so we have to wait and see exactly what will happen with Ches and Colby, but it uh, looks like he will be unavailable for that Wales test. The fact that they have released him to go and look at that probably means they're looking at maybe a bit longer term, maybe looking for that Island series. Um, so in terms of Peter Gamedi, this is a very interesting one because the Bulls are playing this weekend and uh, they'll face Leinster on in, in, on Saturday. But they've agreed to release the uncapped Gamedi who attended the, the Springbok Lyman camp. Um, it's an interesting one. It's a bit of a weird one, actually, why he's been uh, released because he's basically stopped playing for the Bulls. And I'm not entirely sure why because, you know, there was no official real update. There was no indication that he was injured. And then he was actually played, he played in a Curry Cup um, warm-up game the other day. And so I'm not sure if there's maybe been a bit of an internal issue um, there with him or if there's been an injury that he's coming back from. You know, this is all speculation. Absolutely nothing has been confirmed. But the Bulls, who, by the way, were down Marcel Kutsia and Marco Verstar this past weekend, still did not call up Mpilo Gamedi, who clearly is fit, ready, firing to go. So they have agreed to release him, basically saying that obviously he's not in their plans uh, to use him for this weekend against Leinster. And as a result... Um, he has been called up to the spring box and he has joined the squad. <coughs> Speaking on the call up, Rashi Rasmus said the following. He said, uh, Stephen Pilo has been playing impressive rugby this season and we are excited to see how he integrates in the squad and what he has to offer at training. Uh, he would like to extend our gratitude to the Vodacom Bulls for allowing him to join us at short notice, especially at such an important point of the Vodacom UR season. Um, their first training camp this week, the box started today and will conclude on Friday where they will then reassemble on Sunday. Uh, the team will face Wales. Um, it'll be named on Tuesday next week. Uh, the squad will depart on Wednesday evening. So leaving it quite late. Um, but yeah, Wednesday evening will fly overnight. We'll arrive there Thursday morning, train on Friday, and then they will play against Wales on Saturday before probably returning on Sunday would be my guess. And then it's all full steam ahead for... Uh, uh, the games against Ireland, which will take place in July. Uh, I'm very excited about the call-up for Gamedi. I think that, you know, the, this move to the Bulls has really suited him. You know, when he was playing, it's weird that he hasn't been lately. Um, really, really impressive. Um, big physicality, nice ball carrier. And I think he's really developed his game this season. He always threatened to be a decent player at the Sharks, but maybe he didn't get the game time or the backing that he needed to sort of take that step up. He has taken that step up this season. And uh, I'm very excited to see what he's going to offer and uh, whether we might actually see him in a spring or jersey uh, in just less than two weeks' time. So uh, the other big thing is what happens with uh, Ches and Colby. So if he is ruled out of uh, Wales, it now means that we officially lost Damien Willems, Sir Kane and Moody, Kurt Lawrence, by the way, who is uh, looks like he's, he's in hospital and looks like he's going to be out of the Ireland series, as well as now uh, Ches and Colby, which means that the uncapped Edel van Merva could very well be in line to make his debut against Wales next to somebody like a Makazola Pimpi. And these two could be the two favoured wings coming to coming to the, the Island Series. So very exciting time if you're on Edward van der Merwe. Uh, if you're a South African Springbok fan, worrying times with regards to, you know, you know four players, um, you know, uh, World Cup winners 
who are all injured and will not at this stage potentially make that Ireland series. Or we get to confirm what happened with Chase and Colby, but not looking good for uh, Kane and Moody or uh, definitely not looking good for Dave Williams. So we wait to see exactly what will happen with Kurt Lee Aronson. But uh, let me know what you think. Who, Which wings would you back? Who would you back against, uh, first of all, Wales and then Ireland? And uh, would you like to see Pino Gamedi get an opportunity against Wales? Let me know down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve. I'll chat to you soon. Thank <laughs> you.